Hey, yo, what's up guys, Zaid here. Today we're gonna be talking about punching, kicking, eye gouging, <laughs> and everything in between. <laughs> Actually, none of that, guys. We're gonna be talking about Muay Thai. That's right, guys. If you don't know what Muay Thai is, well, you're gonna learn today. Muay Thai, at its most basic, is a martial art that's characterized by using fist, elbows, knees, and shins. Sometimes it's referred to as the art of eight, and some other times it's referred to as Thai boxing. I've always been interested in learning some kind of martial arts, but my dad never actually really wanted me to learn any type of martial arts. And we also never really had the money to get me going on that. And when I finally did have some money to go ahead and learn a martial art such as this, I never really had the chance to do it because I was doing music and if I got injured or something like that, I would be out. No more income, Z will be dead, end of story. But now with the pandemic and all these crazy things happening in the world, I thought it'd be the perfect time since I'm not using my trombone as much. I started going to a local boxing club called the Boxing Club, <laughs> which is basically more of a Muay Thai gym than it actually is boxing. But right now it's definitely right down the middle. They have some awesome Muay Thai fighters and they also have some awesome boxers. They have some really, really good coaches. And I thought, hey, what the heck? Learn some new things. And along the way, learn how to kick some people's butt. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't use eye gouging. Go on a street fight, anything goes. I've always liked boxing, but boxing on its own is just, it's, how do I say this without getting punched by all the boxers in my gym? I needed something more. I needed to learn how to use my legs in other than squatting, cleaning, and jerk. I thought that Muay Thai would be perfect. Plus I have very thick legs, so might as well go ahead and put them to use. I highly, highly recommend them. They have some really high skilled trainers. They have some really, really good people, some really good staff, and they have multiple locations. And there's actually a lot of other classes. There's not just Muay Thai. There's boxing classes, there's kickboxing classes, conditioning classes. Now this weekend I took some footage of what I was doing at the boxing club. I was just hitting the bag for a couple of rounds. I think it was a total of like 15 rounds that I actually hit the bag. At one point I was practicing my jab, cross, front uppercut, and then a straight. Jab, cross, uppercut, and straight. You know, just practicing those, really getting into the motion, really using my entire body to move. And then I started maybe adding the kick to that along with the entire combo. So again, you're using your fist, you're using your knees, you're using your shins, and you're using your elbows. So maybe it was trying different combinations, things of that sort. And each round was about three minutes. And if you guys have gone with a punching bag for three minutes, you definitely know what the hell I'm talking about. It tires you out, guys. And along with that, I've been using this whoop strap and I've been using it out here in my bicep <laughs> because it totally gets in the way when I'm wrapping my hands. That way it doesn't get kicked because <laughs> you will get kicked, guys, in sparring. But I've been using this and it's more on that on another video. Over the past couple of months, I've been training with two people. They've been teaching me a lot of stuff. For all those of you who don't know, I've been a musician for over 15 years. And the one thing I've learned is for you, in order for you to progress as quickly as possible, you gotta get a badass teacher. That is not the only way, but that's definitely what I've seen over the years, what helps you progress as quickly as possible. You need some kind of mentor, you need some kind of person, knows a pretty good amount and can definitely dissect this or definitely knows how to pass this down. Luckily, I got to meet some people that really do know how to teach and over the past couple of months, they've been teaching me some really, really cool stuff and we've been drilling a lot and a lot of technique and my progress has been getting better. I feel a lot more comfortable if I ever got in a street fight somewhere. I know how to defend I know how to get out of a sticky situation if I can defuse it with my words obviously the idea is to never get into a fight because the one thing you do learn while doing Muay Thai or any martial arts practicing any martial arts is you don't know who's out there you don't know when you're gonna need to defend yourself and if you don't know you basically know what's out there trust me there's some guys that if you that that can drop you like all the jujitsu guys if they take you down you're done like you you're gonna get a broken arm you're gonna get something broken and trust me there's no tapping out in a street fight or actually what was that saying that mike tyson said everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face so <laughs> that is totally true everybody has a plan whenever they go and spar with somebody even when you go and spar with somebody you have a plan and then you get punched that went out the window real quick now imagine if you're out on the street and if you've never met the guy and you don't know what to expect you don't know if the guy knows how to punch you don't know if he knows how to kick if he has a gun if he has a knife i've always seen this as a necessity that 
I just haven't gotten around to practicing. I needed some kind of a new inspiration and I think Muay Thai is a martial art that was really, really made famous by one of the movies um, such as Ankh Bak. If you've never watched that movie, I highly, highly recommend it. You will see a lot of punching, you will see a lot of kicking, you will see a lot of knees and elbows to people's heads. Luckily, it was all done by controlled professionals or hopefully it was done by <laughs> controlled professionals and hopefully not <laughs> a lot of people got hurt <laughs> during the making of these movies. And if you ever wanna see something a little bit beyond that, I definitely recommend the movie, The Protector. That movie is some other level. <gasps> it's an awesome movie, but just prepare for nonstop violence. I counted at one point more than 120 broken bones. Don't make it official, go put it on some Reddit post and be like, C said that it was 120. That would be wrong. And they're not paying me to say any of this. I like it. It's cool. It's close. There's multiple locations. And plus they have some bomb instructors. So that really does it for me. But lately it's been great in giving me some really awesome conditioning. As I've told you guys, I like running. But as of lately, it's hit or miss whether I like running or not running. I just needed some change, you know? So for these past couple of months, doing Muay Thai has been awesome for me. I've gotten stronger in other places where I wasn't as strong. One big thing for me is throwing a hook. I was not able to go over over to the side that far out because of my shoulder. My shoulder was crap. Like I, I would feel like it was gonna pop out of its socket and that's never a good feeling. So over, what I started to do, I really started to, to work on my therapy, work on my shoulder as much as I could. And then over time I was able to throw my hook a lot better. It felt a lot more comfortable. Now it feels a whole lot better. I was super hesitant. I, was, I had like PTSD from all the crap that I've gotten in my, done in my shoulder. But now over some time, I, I build up some good strength, both in the front here and in the back. And it just feels so much better. My legs have gotten so much stronger. I don't know if you've ever gotten kicked guys, but it sucks. If you've never gotten kicked, don't don't go out there and get kicked just because of this video. But if you want to find out how it feels, no, don't 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 get kicked, guys. I'm just, I'm just playing with you. But if you've ever gotten kicked, you will realize real quick that your legs might not be able to withstand as much as you thought they might. Have you seen those UFC fights Morning. where those people break their shins? Where those people, like their legs just completely wobble to the floor. Like there's a reason for that. These guys condition their legs by literally getting kicked, getting consistent kicks with 50% power, 40% power. And over time, you start to develop this strength in your legs on the inner part and the outer part. You learn how to receive a kick, minimize the impact of a kick that you're given, and then how to counter those as well. So there's a bunch of things that I've learned over these past couple of months, and it's I owe it all to my instructors. Now, I've been working it out and doing all this whilst being in my carnivore diet. I haven't been super, super strict on it for many, many reasons. But one of the biggest reasons has been that I, when I did try to do it, I did start to feel lightheaded and I started to feel a little dizzy every now and then. One of the reasons is the amount of sodium that you have to consume and the amount of power that you output whilst hitting the bag, whilst moving, you need speed, you need an explosive power. There's just no way around it. And for that, you do need a little bit of glycogen. It's good maybe for something like weightlifting where it's a little bit more staticky, but if I went into something like CrossFit or something like that, where it's a lot more explosive, you know, that, that requires a different type of energy. I think this sport requires a different type of energy as well. It, it's just, you lose so much in one session, even in one hour session, in one class, if you guys are going just a little bit out, like, you know, like a solid 60, 70%, you will sweat a tremendous amount. And if you are hitting the bag consistently for one of those like more cardio level classes, you will sweat like crazy, like completely drenched. So you need to replenish that. And in order to do that with, along with my work, and if I do decide to run that day, or my the rest of my conditioning, it's just a lot. And again, I just, my body can't replenish it fast enough. Along with my carnivore diet, I've been drinking all of these things. Plus, I've been adding some carbs and the carbs that I've been adding have been mostly berries. I like berries a lot, guys. So strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, not too many blueberries, but blueberries, I definitely toss into. And every day when I go ahead and eat my meal, I'll add my ferments and maybe some kimchi if I do. And again, I don't do these every day, but I'll usually have some steak and eggs or something like that. And I'll add a pickle maybe to the side or something along those lines. And then I'll definitely have some berries towards the end. That is something that has definitely been helping me out. And I definitely do see the difference when I go to my next workout the following day, if I have those or if I don't. 
Something that I toss in every now and then as well is honey. Honey is really good. I've used it kind of as a pre-workout, which like about an hour prior to, I'll have a little bit like a scoop of honey. I find it works very well and it also works very well for recovery. Those are some of the things that I definitely use, you know, EAAs, sodium, trace minerals, leucine, maybe some Vitargo, maybe a protein shake. Those are some of the main things that I might use to go ahead and recover if I know that I have a really, really crazy session coming up the next day, or if I just had a really, really crazy session that same day. But this is what I do guys. I keep on experimenting on the same day. There's no fixed thing for me. I always try to keep on finding the next best thing. And I find that for this Muay Thai life, so far this has been the best way to replenish my energy on the day-to-day -day basis. No means am I an expert, but I've learned over these past couple of months quite a bit. I really enjoy the process and I think that's really what it's all about, guys. Just learning, trying out new things. If you like it, cool. If you don't, heck, try out the next thing. Totally forgot to record the outro for my video, guys, but I'm leaving the boxing club right now. Um, I don't know if you can see in the background, but in any case, guys, you know the drill. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Go ahead and push that notification bell. That way you guys get notified every time I come up with a video such as this. And don't forget, guys, I'm going to be bringing up more content. Do expect more content on my tight punching, kicking. Mm. <laughs> Zade out, guys. Peace.